The Ministry of Health on Sunday said Uganda's COVID-19 cases had risen to 770 after seven more people tested positive for the virus. Five of the new infections are among contacts and alerts from Ketora and Amuru, while the other two are truck drivers from Elegu and Malaba border points. Meanwhile, 12 foreign truck drivers who tested positive for the virus were reportedly returned to their country of origin. A total of 578 people who previously tested positive for the virus have recovered and have been discharged since March 21 when the first case was confirmed in the country. Professor Kilian Songwe, AGQC's principal consultant and uh, AGHPF's regional director, Africa, joins us now from Uganda. Thank you very much for joining us. Yes, good afternoon and thank you. All right, seven new cases of COVID-19 reported. What's your assessment? Can you hear me, sir? It's uh, here in Uganda. Uh, yes, I can hear you. Okay, I'm trying to ask if your assessment of the continuing cases, number of cases of COVID-19. I think uh, the, uh, what is going on in Uganda is actually a very good sign uh, that the testing is actually working uh, because when you look at the positive rate, they are certainly below 5%, uh, which means that we're making some, we're actually good proportion of Uganda has said in, uh, by the end of next week, we'll have tested just to let us than, than 100 uh, which is a very good sign of the testing capacity. Okay. So the, the cases is that we see uh, is a proportion. Okay, um, the network is a bit shaky, but let's try one more uh, question. What do you think the government is doing right, and what do you think they can do better? Oh, absolutely. Uh, the government of Uganda has uh, been very... Uh, uh, in its test, uh, the testing that has been done here has been very extensive. Uh, well over uh, 80,000 tests uh, have been said. Uh, in less than another week, will be just a little under 100,000 tests done. Uh, so I think they've done a phenomenal job there. I think they've also done a phenomenal job on the tracing and treating. Uh, as you note, as of today, Uganda still has uh, zero fatality. So I think uh, they're doing just the right things uh, going forward.